Hello, my name is Marcus Hughes, and me along with Jacob Brook, Justin Moore, and Zach Smith will be presenting our smart fridge app that we've been working on. Have you ever been tired of your old raggedy fridge? You wanted something cool, cool and hip to help you out? Have you ever been tired of doing grocery shopping lists? Well, we have something to help you with that. We've had the smart fridge. It's cool, cool and hip, and great with the kids. Uh, during this presentation, we'll be going through a demonstration of our product. We'll be doing some, showing some evaluations we've done. We'll test it on the other users. And we will show you why this is such a great product. Here's Justin War with a demonstration. Hello, um, this is Justin. I am going to cover the demo and features of our high fidelity prototype smart fridge application. Um, I will cover it using our six benchmark tests we used in design testing um, in class. Here you can see like the recently used uh, features of the app. You have like recently used shopping lists, so whether they had a Myers shopping list, a family fair shopping list, or various recipes they recently looked at or are most popular. <laughs> now on to uh, the demo. Our first benchmark task is to add five ounces of spinach to the fridge. So they would like to go to the menu and then since they want to add spinach to the fridge or go to fridge contents and then they would see what they have in there already currently um, the various amounts and then they could see they could add a new item and they would click to type in an item name, they'd put in spinach and then get rid of the menu, they could increase the number of it or they could also type in the number <laughs> and then they can give a classification to that so whether it's can jar in this case they wanted to add five ounces of spinach so select ounces and then we select save and so that adds the spinach successfully to the fridge contents list. Now onto the second benchmark task. It is to search for the vodka in the fridge and then once we found it remove two ounces out of its contents. So when we are on the fridge contents screen here we want to search for the vodka um, and for this we want the user to use the search icon to test out the search functionality. So they'd click it and then they can enter in their search. Um, and you can see there's like they had recent searches already that would be populated and then the vodka isn't there. So then they would type in, start typing in vodka and then they would get suggestions such as vodka or venison, you know, letters that start with V and they could either click on that or they can continue typing and then they could click on that the search and come up with the vodka result and then they can go over to the minus and decrease that by two ounces and then that completes that task. On to uh, benchmark task three um, we are tasked with removing the cucumber and butter from the fridge and then adding them to the family fair shopping list. So we last ended on searching for vodka and we're going to want to go back. So we'll click the arrow on the top left and we end up back on the fridge contents screen. So we want to remove the cucumber and butter. So I'm going to select each of them. And then I also noticed that uh, our ad icon now turn to a trash icon. Or there's the other option of we could decrease the number of each until they ran out and then we'd get a pop-up notification asking if we wanted to completely delete the item from the fridge. I'm going to use the trash icon. So click delete and then we get this prompt asking us do we want to delete these contents and then there's also the option to delete and add them to a shopping list and that's what we want to do. And then we want to select the Family Fair shopping list as directed in the benchmark test. And we click continue. And then we're prompted again 
to select which items we want to add into that content list and we can select one or we can just select them all and I click add selected and that concludes benchmark task 3 our next benchmark task is to scan in a can of root beer to the fridge um, so we're already on the fridge contents and we remembered using this plus button in the lower right to add an item before so we click it again and then we see the scan barcode function we are going to use so on this screen you have the instructions on the bottom for the user to know how to use it um, and once the user gets the barcode in the viewfinder and it, it'll auto adjust and scan the barcode it'll move on to the next page automatically um, this is similar to other apps like my fitness pal and here we can see the Europe beer has been added and only one can because that's what we scanned and then they can from there go and add more now that benchmark task number four is done we can move on to benchmark task number five which is to turn on the fridge's power saving mode so we're going to want to find the fridge settings or some settings page so we'll go to the menu and we see that there's a setting but then there's one for the fridge um, and we want to turn on the fridge's power saving mode so we're going to want to click on that and we scan through the page and we notice here is our power saving mode so we will turn that on and that concludes task number five and then moving on to benchmark task number six we are to adjust the fridge temp up or down a degree so I want our fridge to be a little bit cooler so we find the refrigerator temperature and we will adjust it down a degree and that concludes benchmark task number six hello this is Jacob Root so for our high fidelity test we got some results that were not totally hitting our target especially for the ease of use so as you can see on the graphic there that on the benchmark tasks side of it for people to do the benchmark tasks it, such as in our UX table our target levels for for adding spinach and uh, well for the the target level for adding spinach was under 20 seconds and we observed an average of 83 seconds over three participants and for removing the cucumber and butter and adding it to the grocery list for family fair we expected under 40 but saw an average of 111 seconds over three people so we uh, we either need to change our base, our target level, and obviously adjust the baseline level, or go back to the drawing board and try to make the design more intuitive so that there's a, uh, a better ease of use. And also, the initial customer satisfaction wasn't entirely there, so we were expecting a target of six out of seven on the post survey or post evaluation survey and what we got was an average of five out of seven for the four people that took the survey and so that's something else that we need to address so overall that based on these test results we clearly need to improve the usability of our program and to make it so that people can perform the tasks more quickly and efficiently. And so now I will hand this off to Zach, who will describe our second wave of design changes we made to the prototype. Hi, this is Zach Smith of the Smart Users Group, and I'll be going over design changes for the evaluation results phase. Our first design change has to do with the search functionality. We got some feedback saying that the location of the search functionality found, was found to be confusing. So we decided to move the location from this 
top right corner, which is circled in red, to underneath the fridge contents, a section heading, so it's by itself and more easily accessible. Here is a screenshot of our new design for the search functionality. Again, as you can see, the search input box is now underneath the section header of fridge contents by itself, um, allowing users to enter their search straight from the page instead of navigating through an icon. Our second design change has to do with modifying elements in the fridge content section. We had feedback saying there was no way to edit an item once it was added, which we found true. So we decided to change our design to include an edit button. As you can see, circled in red, there is a delete button, but no edit button. Here is our new design for editing a fridge content item. As you can see, next to the remove or trash icon, um, there is now an edit button. And this button would bring you to an editing screen where you presumably would either change the name or any other element that is part of the item. Hello, this is Marcus again. My group would like to thank you all for watching our presentation. We have learned a lot throughout this process. One key thing we have learned is that usability is the most important thing for a product like ours. We have to make tasks quicker and more enjoyable for users. This process has taught us that. Another key thing we have learned is that you have to make goals and guidelines for yourself to make the best possible product that you can. So again, we would like to thank you guys and all the people that have helped us along the way.